Okay, so here's what I wanted to talk about. Number one, adding the burn, kind of cool. Could be good for uh, could be good for the simulated universe because of the nihility buff or whatever. But this one here, getting a 20% damage multiplier when they are burning, pretty good as well. And this follow-up attack, kind of cool, but check this out. When current HP percentage is 80% or higher, your crit rate is increased by 15%. That is like five rolls of crit rate. Five good rolls of crit rate thrown onto your kit. Now let's just take a, a gander at a couple things. Her trace. When your HP percentage is 50% lower, there's a chance that you don't get attacked. That's fine, but most enemies and big bosses in the game are AOE. So does this really add a lot of value? Quantum penetration? This one is very good. Let's just be honest, this one is pretty juiced. Can't cry about it. How about her final one? After using a basic attack, her action forward is advanced 20%. Like this one is not this insane thing because why? A lot of the time you use your skill. Like you use your skill a lot with her. So how often does this proc? You know, Himiko's procs all the time. And I feel like anyone doing math and tests right now isn't getting 15% extra crit rate. Think about this, think about this. My Clara, tons of crit damage. Her crit rate, 36. I'd be at 50% crit rate right now. So all I'm saying is a lot of people who have Himiko and are building Himiko don't even have one of the most valuable damage traces in the game. Copium, yes. Do I care? No. 